action. Welcome to experiment six in part A. In this part of the experiment, we're going to be looking at the alkali metals and testing its reactivity with water. So we'll be looking specifically at lithium, sodium, and potassium. And we're going to see if we can find a trend as we go down a column in the periodic table with, in terms of their reactivity. So the first one that we're going to test is lithium. And lithium is stored in a um, oil, which it doesn't react with. So I'm going to take out a piece and we'll add it to our water and observe what happens. So as the oil comes off, we should start to see lithium being able to react with the water. So as you can see, the lithium is beginning to react. You can see it kind of moving around, creating bubbles. And so this lithium is reacting. It's not dissolving. It's reacting with the water. Okay. So now we're going to compare this to sodium. So sodium is the next one down in the column of the periodic table. So we'll see if there's a difference between the reactivity of the lithium compared to the sodium. So our sodium, again, is stored in oil. So let's grab a piece of sodium. Let's dab off the oil. So let's add this to our water. Okay. And so we can see the sodium is reacting with the water. Now we can think, is that more reactive or less reactive? So now we're going to do our last one. We're going to look at potassium, which is the next one down on the periodic table in that first column. So we have our potassium stored in oil. Let's grab a piece of potassium. Maybe. Dab off the oil. Mm. Oh, it's there we go. Okay, and now let's add this to water. And there was our potassium reacting with the water. So what we looked at is lithium, then sodium, then potassium. See if you can see a trend. Thank you.